All right, y'all, we're going to rig up some live shrimp now. A couple guys down here catching some yellow jacks. I think the tackle store kind of screwed me on the shrimp this morning. I got a whole bunch of dead ones. Something messing with it. Take it. There we go. Fish on. Feels small. <laughs> Not exactly what we're after here. I think that is a baby yellowtail snapper, I believe. I think these guys only gotta be 10 inches, but he's uh he's tiny. Pretty fish though. First one of the day. If you're coming down to Marathon, I don't recommend going to two conks bait and tackle. I got four dozen dead shrimp this morning for $5.99 a dozen. We'll get out of the pile. We're getting bigger. Hey, hey I got one. <laughs> First yellow jack. Not quite the right size. Too small, right? No, I did no size to her. No size? Is it worth keeping this size? All right. No size limit. We're going to keep them. Really? I've never had it. First time catching them. I'll cut them into like sandwich size pieces and fry them and just make fish sandwiches. We come down here to grouper fish, but man, I, I gave those to people before that wanted grouper back at the house and I didn't want to admit that I got skunked. So I was like, oh, here's some grouper, dude. Yeah. And they eat it and like, it's the best grouper I've ever had. That's awesome. <laughs> those guys I was just talking to got into something. Run down here, see what they got going on. About to lose my pants. Ever since I've been losing weight, none of my pants fit. These big jacks don't seem to want to eat, but they said the smaller ones I'll usually eat. I'm gonna get my stuff, go down that way, see if we can get hooked up on something good. Check it out, y'all. Look how big. It's insane. <clears throat> There's a Goliath grouper right there, a tarpon right here, a jack cruising around. There's those little jacks. If I can get one to eat, where'd they go? They go under the bridge. Oh, come on, come on. Ah, how did I not get it? I don't know how they didn't eat that. There he is, there he is. <laughs> These little ones are so feisty. They're like trying to eat it out of its mouth. They're literally trying to eat the X wrap out of that Jack's mouth. Ah, oh, he just spit it. All that, and I ended up pulling hook on him. Seems to be my luck today. There he is. See if I can keep him on this stuff. Trip on up! <laughs> Let's go. Try not to get tangled up. Oh, this is insane. Let's just see if I can actually land one. These little ones are feisty. Snap the rod. Uh oh. We're about to get. So I got a net if you want to do that. Um, that might be easiest. I'll grab the net real quick, Mike. <laughs> Our We're all together. tangled up. It broke right at the guide, too. That sucks, man. I'll build another one. <laughs> Guess if you can build them yourself, it's not as yeah, bad. Build all this stuff, so. We got a tangled mess here. There you go. <laughs> Tarpon, barracudas, jacks. Mine ended up spitting the hook again. You bent the hook out on one of yours. Oh, it straightened them out? Yeah. Yep. BKKs. I know, those are some good hooks. Put 
them make cubby jigs with them. Sweet. Y'all want it? If you want it, y'all can have it. I don't need it. Oh, there he is. Uh, come on. They're right here. Choking the NLB in. Oh. Don't get me in the piling. Not the piling. No. 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 Dude, get over here. Oh, I got him. I thought it was about to get me in. Oh, Barracuda's on him. Barracuda just cut him in half. Hey, Barracuda. I got a jack head. <laughs> it's crazy they can just cut through it like that. That is wild. Especially those fish ain't, they're thick. Right, and he just chomped it. It dropped that down for a uh, Goliath. That'd be sweet. Oh, there is, there is. More jacks. See if I can keep him away from the barracuda this time. Oh yeah. Oh. I gotta try to keep my braid off the bridge. Dang. This one's whooping me. I gotta winch them up here. There you go. That one. Pour me out. Breaking in this stratic and bull bay rod pretty good. All this traffic driving right past us. They messed up that NLB in pretty good. I'll have to go get some water. That one was a workout. They getting that current trying to go under the bridge. I was like, golly. That's why I, that's why I use my Cobia jig set up for it. Yeah. Is that the saltest MQ? Yeah. Those things are sweet. Got him. <laughs> On a messed up NLB in. <laughs> You make much quicker work out of it with your cobia setup. <laughs> See if they'll eat just a jig head. They came up, but they didn't eat it. Put a new swim bait on here. I looked like the yellow jacks mixed back to them. They chased the shrimp up, but didn't eat it. 
See if they'll eat a dead shrimp. All right, we're gonna throw a little gulp shrimp with a bigger jig head. See if that'll get them. Need to get down to the bottom a little quicker. There he is. There we go. Finally got one to commit. There he is. Back to back. On oh, some very light tackle. <laughs> it got me on the concrete. They'll eat a gulp shrimp, surely they'll eat a dead shrimp. There we go. A decent one. <clears throat> There's all this dead shrimp I bought this morning still going to use. So at least all this dead shrimp I bought this morning still going to use. Yeah. They are down there thick. Oh, that's a nice little fish fry. This is what I wanted to catch this week, so. That might be the wrong fish. Unless it's a big one at the right one. <laughs> Not the current. Nice. Thought I had a jack on for a second. Heck yeah. Uh, no. Uh, no, we're catching fish now. There we go. Uh, I got enough fish for me. Y'all want this one? And whatever else. We're gonna get those damn chum blocks out of here. Yeah. I got a bunch of fish to clean, that's for sure. Yeah. That stuff smells good. <laughs> I was like, what in the world is that? Yeah. Is that your page? Been with the YouTube channel? Uh, mine is Bearded Brad. Huh? Me, Matt, and Brant. Matt's is Bama Beach Bomb. Then Brand is Angle Upper Brant. The three of us have that tackle store, Beach Bum Outdoors. How's it doing so far? Good? It's been good. Um, the grand opening was really busy. We had a lot of people come in town for it. But there we go. With Memorial Day coming, it should start picking up pretty good. Yeah, for sure. From where? Okay. There we go. They're freaking thick down there. I saw you throw one back. Are y'all still keeping them or? Oh, I got you. There we go.
Yeah, Black Drum has a slot in Florida. I don't think Jacks do, but they don't in Alabama. Alabama, we can we can keep whatever. Y'all get a lot of puppy drum over there, don't you? Can y'all keep bulls over there? Uh, they gotta be 24 inches of the max, or 23 inches of the wood. Yeah, ours are 16 to 26, but we can keep one over. Jacks, big jacks. Big jacks. Y'all need a bigger cooler. You want to scum in this one? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it is a lot of work to keep and clean that much fish. <laughs> there we go. Trump it up on him. <laughs> it's nice when they spit the hook when they get up here. It's an intimidating walk. But it's worth it. Yeah, I will take that for sure. Nice surprise catch. That was a sad horn. That's a good Heck yeah. Beating good. Throw this one on ice. Yeah, what are they? 10? 12? Hey, he's over. Oh, yeah. On the dead shrimp. <laughs> That is a ton of fish. <laughs> Y'all are braver than me. I hate cleaning fish. There you go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, man. There's a bunch of freaking fish though. Yeah. Heck yeah. Might be my biggest one so far. Yeah, there's some giants down there. Oh, that's a fat one. Uh, that's probably my biggest one of the day. Stop and drop us a beaky here, see if we can get some bait first before we head on out. There we go, that was easy. A ton of boats out here this morning, charter boats trying to catch their bait. As soon as it hits the bottom, they're on it. Bearded Brad is spanking 45 year old Has he even caught any yet? He's caught one. <laughs> he's got no game. No, wait, just give him time. Who's that? He's, he's I'm good at catching the little fish. Yeah, this is Bean Jr. Oh, you just let it sit on bottom and then after one gets on, let it sit for a second. You usually get more. Brad, are you a Bama fan? I'm not. I'm originally from Nashville, so I'm a Tennessee fan. Oh, man. All right. I'm a big gator. Okay. I wish catching bait was this easy back home. We usually got to work for it a little bit. Yeah, they've been good at early. There's a good one. Got four on that one. All right, y'all, we just loaded up on some baits here. Make sure the 
about to make the run offshore go catch some fish all right guys we just made it out here to the first spot we're only five miles offshore and we're already in blue water pretty crazy up in our area you got to go like 40 50 miles to get to that blue water just put some chum down already have fish coming up to the boat so we're gonna go ahead and get to fishing all right y'all so we're just hooking up a little shrimp here they mixed up some oats with uh with the chum and then they make this little ball and pack the shrimp in there helps it sink down past the trash fish and once it gets down <clears throat> once it gets down a little bit we'll grab the line pop those oats off then we'll have a shrimp down low keep waving enough keep your tip low so the wind doesn't carry your braid and once it starts running you know and you can feel them getting it then just close and wind fast on them all right there you go nick got him one you can see about 200 of them down there but yeah there's there's a ton of them I usually let the guests go first but <laughs> show us show us how it's done this is alan rada hospitality <laughs> right so i just want to see if we can catch one because we can't get skunked you know once we get one in the box then i can sit back absolutely and i have to beat rob because rob thought he's gonna catch one before me that's a good one nice 16 incher Alan Rod is special in every restaurant down here. Heck yeah. Nice. There we go. Try to keep this guy from the sharks over here. Ah. Oh, he's still there. Got him, you got him. Oh, that ain't no yellow tail. Yep. Oh. Something got him. Got a little upgrade. I don't know, there's some big ones here. Ah. Oh, Dang it. What do you want, Cracker? All right, let's try this again. What you got? Be Nick got him something big. Groceries. Uh, right type, wrong size. Little black grouper. Oh, there you go, Nick. Good job, man. We know what they look like now. Nice. That's why it's How big they got to be? 24. 24. 24. But pretty fish. Absolutely. Bye-bye. Sweet. Nick's the only one catching fish. Well, so yeah. Got All right, see if we can get them up here this time. Come on. That's the yellow tail. Ooh, ooh. Let's see. Yep. Yes, the tail. You got one. All right. Nice. Uh, got somebody's line too. Oh, that's all right. That's right. Yeah. Now the question is, can you get the hook out? I saw your little trick. Oh, it's in there. That thing's deep. Let's see what you got. It's actually like a. He's a keeper. You know, he's not big, obviously. But right. On a day like today, we'll, we'll take them. Yeah, no doubt. The current's laughing, but there's so many yellow tails down there. Finally got one in the box. That's Pee Wee. Oh, Rob, yeah, you're not on them. <laughs> get them, Don't let oh, Pee Wee get Get them. Don't really get Come on, Phil Stead. Come on, Puffy. Get on the cracker, Rob. Getting smoked. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my get gosh. Up. I'm on, too. We got a tight I'm on. Quick, quick. Don't break them out. He got a cracker. I'll go over you. Get some when you can. Yep. Oh, and man. it happened. Get him, Brad. Hey, little Hill is not holding. Well, Brad's got a big yellow tail on. Come on. Man up. Hurry up. Don't let the charge do it. Come on this way. Yep, here he is. Come this side. Come this side. Get out of the way. Maybe it's a big mutton or something. It could be. It could be something. It's a birthday. There you go. Nice yellow there you go. There's a good one. There you go. That's a good one. Nice. Oh. No, not. If we had current, you know, and it was moving on the boat. Okay, We'd be whaling. I'm like, that's a good oh. size yellow tail. That's a good nice apple. Yeah. All right. Nice yellow tail going on ice here. Is that a fish? Is that a fish? Yep, there's a fish. There's one. That one ate the shrimp. They ate the shrimp? Yep. Come on, buddy. Get up here. It's a keeper. <laughs> That's right. Look, keeper's a keeper. <laughs> hey, it's a sandwich. Hell <laughs> yeah. Fish stick. <laughs> All right, Nick, what are we doing here? We're trying to catch a mutton snapper now. All right. Didn't cooperate, no current. It's right a little bit deeper. How deep right. is it here? About 200 feet. We ain't reading bottom now, but we'll catch the muttons anywhere from 100 to 300. Okay. Well, we're just going to do some drifts. Got a nice leader on there, a couple live baits, and see what happens. Nick. We got fish on. You got fish? Pretty sure. Nice. There we oh, go. Oh, yeah. There he is. Mutton on. Come on. Seriously, man. You want this water now? Hang on. Brad's got a good one. Ah. Uh, it just pulled. Oh, you lost him already. <sighs> Probably straight in the hook. <laughs> Ain't got nothing. Uh, 
Is it a squirrel? No, it cut me. Is it cut? All right, no squirrel knot. My knot ain't pulling. Don't get yoked over now. If you lose Nick's rod, it's a problem. Brad's shaking in his head. Can I swing back? <laughs> I gotta get her. Elsa, be ready, man. I feel a big bite coming. Man, I think a big one might come get your groceries. We're due. Birthday due. That bird oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. You got got. Oh, you got got, bitch. Oh, oh, good job, man. Get him. He's already taking mine, Jake. I just. Don't come up. Thought it'd be the right one. With a hook straight. Come on, BB. How deep are we in now? I'm like, here, Mark. It's around like 270. This fish may be around my line. Yeah, I think his fish is on my line. Here, here, grab the weight, grab the weight, grab the weight. Here he comes. He's floating up. Mutton snapper. Here he comes, guys. Floating up. There you go. There he comes, Brad. Nice mutton, I think. You can wind up now, but That'll be a mutton. Wind, 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 wind. Nice There's some mutton. color. I think it's a nice mutton, guys. He's Better not be there. Oh, yeah, nice mutton snapper. Oh, Heck yeah. yeah. I got one for his birthday. No, no. Nice. nice. We didn't go. get skunked. Grab them. Get them. Get them. Get them. Get them. We didn't get skunked. No, we're good. He banged that belly. Oh, nice. nice. So good job. Heck yeah. Birthday, birthday, birthday. Nice fish on his birthday after he yeah, crapped his pants. Nice work, dude. Yeah. Good job, no not. That's what we're after. Yeah. Good deal. All right, y'all. He just caught that mutton on a ballyhoo. So we're going to hook one on here. I was just fishing a pilchard. Drop this ballyhoo down. Got a long leader here. Need a what? A fish like that. I do need a fish I like know, that. That's what I'm trying to say. He can't get greedy. He gets two. Birthday's only good for one. Oh! I'm going to have to drink one of his pepperoni things. You might have to. Well, pepperoni yeah, right. thing. Tell me when you're ready. Guys, <laughs> I need a birthday box. Got one on. Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's on there. Oh, yeah, we got a button on. Yeah, he's still on there. I don't know what he's doing. No, nah, I mean, it's definitely a fish. That didn't take long. They like that ballyhoo. I know. I don't think it's gonna be as big as his. That's right. Come on, baby. Things long ways down there. I'm getting a workout. I think it was because I was talking about the pepperoni. I didn't even have to drink it. I just had to say it. Still be running offshore in Alabama, huh? Yeah. Wouldn't even be at 300 feet yet. How far out are we? Eight, seven, eight miles? Probably seven. From shore? Yeah, to get to 300 foot, we'd have to be about 40, 50. Yeah, we might be eight from shore. Maybe more than that. Well, we got be eight miles, you're in about 40 foot of water. Yeah. That's a lot more fuel in here. Yeah, way more fuel. Brad started fighting fish for us. Yeah, we did. I don't know, Brad's about wore out. <laughs> yeah, that's right, just keep it going. I need to get back to working out. Wrong type. Yeah, it's a little sharky. What? Oh, Atlantic shark nose. Wrong flavor. Wrong flavor. Oh, dang. It's your birthday. Sorry, Bradley. <laughs> we do this. It's all right. They it's a fish. Oh, he gone now. There he goes. He nicked your hook off. All that for a dang shark. I'll be dang. dang. All right, y'all, sending another one down after catching that shark. See if we can find the right fish this time. Thought we were going to have one. Ended up being that dang shark. It's a lot of work for something I can't keep. <laughs> Come, Nick. That little rod's doing work over there. See if we can get him up whole. Man, that rod is tiny. You sell those rods, Nick? <laughs> Hopefully we can get them up without getting sharked. I hope so. You sell that rod, Nick? I do. A little yeah? miniature Nick stick. They're fun. Nice. If the company was better, it'd be more fun, but it's a tough crowd out here today. <laughs> nice fun, a little jig and blank. And you can see, you can put some heat on it. That's awesome. Oh, Gotta be getting close. Who's out there? What's this to drop a three foot rod down there? <laughs> right? Tiny rod catches big fish. If we're lucky. Y'all gonna double up here? I doubt it. That'd be sweet. 
he's got no game back there. <laughs> a lot of smack talking going on in this boat today. No knot, no game, and no fish nick. But Brad still got a beer. That's all I think we got. <laughs> yeah. Brad needs to get a fish. There's color. Big old mutton dog. Nice. We don't play, sucker. Look at that mutton snapper. <laughs> yeah. Dang. That's a big one there. Take that birthday boy. Damn it. Oh. That one's real. I ain't got him yet. Look at that. Heck yeah. yeah. Nice that's fish. On the Nick stick. On the, on the Nick stick. Oh, the that's a good one. Heck on yeah. EKK, right there. The yeah. That one didn't straighten out. Fish, yep. There we go. Uh, or do we have the same fish? What are you doing? I might be helping you catch your fish. I know how to tie and not. Yeah, we were just tangled up. Maybe. Maybe not. Fish on two. You and Bradley. Is that drag too tight or is it good? Just make sure it ain't too tight. Yeah. Hey, when you lift up, lift up easy, buddy. Here he comes. Here he comes. We'll see. He's dogging him. Come on, Bradley. Yeah, he's coming up. The He's Come coming on. up. Alabama's on. on. Hopefully we're doubled up on buttons. I hope so. Don't forget about Bradley up there. He's got a monster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mick, what you say it ain't? Oh, yeah. Watch. Look at this thing floating up here. Look at that big old mutton snapper. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. Heck yeah. Hey, it looks like we're stealing this number from Nick. No, no, you ain't getting this number. Heck yeah. We're gonna have to take Brad's phone now too. Yeah. He's out here tracking us. That's the real deal right there. Come on, Bradley, get one. Try. He's coming up. A long ways down there. Alright, wait. Oh yeah, mutton snapper floating up. There you go. Oh yeah. Look at me, dude. Oh, you think got him? Yep. Yeah, get him flowing out there, guys. Nice. Oh, whopper. Heck yeah. Whopper muttons, baby. We Double it up on back. Giants. He just redeemed himself. <laughs> He's back. Yeah. He's back. <laughs> Boom, baby. Nice. Oh my God. First ever mutton That's snapper. Appreciate it, brother. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Let's go. All right, y'all, check out these giant mutton snappers out here with Nick oh, stands at Bud yeah. Mary's Marina. He we are whacking them. First time catching one. This is awesome. Nice I appreciate job. it, man. That's Thanks, deal. Right there. That's Heck yeah. The birthday boy, 47. Yeah. Woo. We got 47 pounds of mutton. Yeah, dog. No. <laughs> All right, y'all. Just made it back here to Bud and Mary's, and there are tarpon everywhere. <laughs> That's crazy. I want to catch one. Observation only here. Yeah. Big little short. So here's Nick's 42 Freeman. If you're coming down in Isla Morada, he does run some sword fishing trips. I'm going to have all his information linked down below. One of the best boats that you can fish out of. Pretty sweet. Again, more tarpon hanging out over here too. This is the broad-minded giant Freeman. But at Mary's Marina has a bunch of different charters, whatever you want to do, inshore, offshore. So uh, come check them out when you're down here in the Keys. All right, y'all, gonna flay up a mutton here. Nick's gonna show us how it's done. This isn't even one of the big ones. We caught some tanks today. Full of air too. Come up in that deep water. Scale up there. Start working our way down. They got big spines. So you gotta be careful. As long as people grab them there, play yeah. them, or hit that. Don't let them get you. Help and ruin your day. You probably hear a bunch of air come out. Yeah, hear all the air come out there. Mm-hmm. We'll save these head there. A lot of people like to make fish head soup with it and lay the throats. So we'll give the uh, and I grow from throats too once in a while, but. A lot of times I'll get the throats to a lot of my friends. You got a Jamaican them. guy or something. Jamaican right Mike. Jamaican yeah, the Mike. roughest yeah. toughest. He loves them. And then Vic wanted some for his friends. But I'm more the fillet guy, so. Same. They got big old rib bones on muttons too. Get that like that. The big old fillet. Knock the rib cage out. 
Get a little rinse in here. Hey, what do you want? Dude, we got a nice mutton snapper right there. Uh, yeah. Looks delicious. Well, that'd be good. Um, what do you think, Vic? I don't know. I had a good captain today. Heck yeah. You have a good small. time? Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Hell yeah. What do you want to drink? We're going up front. Uh, beer? Which kind? Cold. Cold, okay. Uh, I don't know what they're called, though. Half mango, half tower. We're going to feed this yeah. little piece of the tarp in here. Slurping it down. Did I eat it? I did. It ain't gonna last long. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> Not I need this all. All right, guys, we're back in the house now after an awesome trip out there with Captain Nick Stanzik, Bud and Mary's Marina. If you're down here in the Keys, make sure you check them out. They're in Isla Mirada, and uh, they completely crush it. You can do inshore trips, offshore trips. Nick runs a lot of swordfish trips. Get on his calendar while you can. But we're about to cook up some of this mutton snapper. First time I've ever caught it. First time any of us have ever eaten it. We're going to blacken it. We're going to start off with the seafood magic here. We already got a pan heating up with some butter we and some oil. You want to sprinkle it? I want to paint the one. Alright. I'm sprinkling that one. I'm sprinkling them all. No. What's in your hair? Nothing. What's in your hair? <laughs> Are you all like stuff in your hair? My turn. Alright. My turn. Mm, I want to do one. Well, you can do the other side. Yay! So Kelton's getting this side. And I do the other side. And right. do the rest. So, Take you the rest. Knox will hit the other side. You might get it all. Sprinkle it. <laughs> you got it on the table. You got it on the table. Three. Not all in one spot. Spread it around. <laughs> Not spread it around. That's what Knox is doing. That's plenty. That's, that's enough. Is that enough? All right. It's on the table. Hopefully that's enough. That is Y'all got it all over the place. It's not on the table. All right. Mmm, yummy. Oh, I want to do it. I want to do it. This is the it. only pair of tongs we have left <laughs> yes. in the place. Yes. And they grabbed their entire head. I already got a pan heated up there. Yes. So we're going to drop this mutton snapper down here in the pan. Let it blacken for a minute. Alright guys, we got the blackened fish already. Mutton snapper. First time I've ever had some. Got my sister Claire here. She's gonna give it a try. Mmm. You gotta go with the tartar. You could try it without the tartar first. I can't, I can't, I can't. Well, you had the tartar the whole <laughs> Well, I'll try it without it, no. Oh. Yeah, sure. That's really What are you good. doing? I tried it again without the tartar. Drop it all over yourself? Yeah, I'm making a mess. That's really oh, good. It is really good. I'm glad we went. This is delicious. Blackened instead of fried. It probably would have been good fried, but this is really good. It is very good, Blackman. Kelton, come here. Yeah, I'm getting ready. Kelton. Courtney's behind the camera. Let's we'll see what she thinks about it. You like it, Mom? This is probably yeah, the best really fish good. that I've had Eyeball. Like in a long time. This, this is, is really, really good. good. Seriously. Can you help me? What is this? Mutton snapper? Mutton snapper. Is this the one that you caught? Quit. Mm -hmm. no, quit. This is really good. No, I like that. Eyeball. I don't know that we even get these Ketchup. in the mm -hmm. Gulf. Maybe. Y'all comment down below and let me know. I'm not sure. I don't know anybody that's caught them. We get red snapper. But this tastes okay, way good. better than red snapper. <laughs> Kelton. All right, Kelton, try a bite. No, I'll try it with that. <laughs> Kelton. No, 
This mutton snapper is probably my new favorite fish. What we're working with this morning is a big one ounce jig head with a three inch gulp shrimp on it. Now, generally, I wouldn't use a jig head this big, but there's some deep water and a lot of current around here, especially around these bridges we're gonna be fishing a little bit later. Um, so using this heavier jig head to get us down even through all that current. I know it looks a little silly, but that's what we got working with. Need these tarpon to roll again. We got a trash can right there. People still leaving their trash on the ground. Clean up some of this mess before we move on to the next spot. Got to keep this water clean. Ridiculous. Lazy, lazy people. Guys. That's right. All right, y'all. We're gonna do a little bit of snapper fishing now. I just got a little snapper jig tied on here. We got some fresh dead shrimp. Nobody has live shrimp right now. There's a ton of mangrove snapper right here. Come on. Oh, we missed it. There we go. I'm on this time. Oh, little mangrove. Not quite a keeper. They do have to be 10 inches down here in Florida. Yeah, I need a piece. See ya, buddy. Thanks, Cruz. We got some parrotfish mixed in with there. Looks like a couple lane snapper. And Cruz already has a keeper in the box, so there are some keepers in here. Got two, keepers. two keepers? There we go. There's a good one. There's a good one. Oh, I just pulled the hook on him. Dang. Hey, what is that? Cuda. Oh, yeah. You got one? Yeah. Chris threw out a live pinfish. Just oh, got yeah. ate by a barracuda. He's running out here. He's running out here. Do you have wire? Nope. It's a big freaking barracuda. Oh. Get him, Chris. Oh, it just cut you? Yeah. Dang. I don't know if y'all can see them in the water right here. That barracuda right there just ate Chris's pinfish. Ended up cutting them off. We were, he threw out a live bait for some tarpon. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pitch out another live pinfish with some wire and see if I can get the cuda to eat. We're on. That didn't take long. Oh, I just pulled the hook. No, he just he pulled the hook. That's a big cuda, bro. He's back on it. I'm gonna let him eat. I got wire. I'm gonna let him eat it for a second. All right, I'm letting him eat because I pulled hook on him last time. There he is, there he is, there he is. Got him. Got the barracuda. Oh, he spit it again. Eat it, dude. Can't believe I pulled hook on that dang barracuda. Gonna come back and see if we can't get us some keeper mangroves. I threw my <coughs> I threw my bait back out there, just let it sit, so see if he comes back for it. After being hooked twice, he uh Maybe a little spooked. There's a mangrove. Little bitty fella. Actually, that's a grunt. He might be a good bait. We'll save him. All right, rig up another piece of shrimp. Tough to keep these smaller fish away. A big thing? A big freaking mangrove. A big thingy thing? 
Get up, get up. Nice. That's a big one. Is this a um, schoolmaster? Yeah. Schoolmaster snapper. What size I gotta be? Let's see here. Fish rules app. Schoolmaster. Ten inches. All right, he's a little over 10 inches, so we're going to go ahead and throw him in the cooler. We're going to do us a little catch and cook. Crew's got to keep her schoolmaster. I don't know that I've ever eaten schoolmaster snapper. I would assume it tastes similar to the mangroves and all that. But we're going to find out. We're going to do a little comparison. Mangrove versus schoolmaster. Oh. Little guy, little guy, he's got me in the rocks. This one is definitely not a keeper. There's a lobster coming out right there. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Lots of life down here in the Keys. All right, going back in for snappers. It's like I see the big ones, but I can't freaking feed them. Oh, he freaking hammered that one. Come on, baby. You might be a keeper. You might be a oh, keeper. A big shark. I think we got us a keeper. All right, check it out, y'all. That's definitely a keeper. We're gonna throw this one on ice. Working up a little, uh, little dinner here. Oh, Chris is on. What are you throwing? He's in a hole. Grouper? I don't know. I might just let go. You still got the fish? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, he's yeah you got there. something. He's coming. It'd be sweet if it's a, it looks like a jack. What was that? Was that a jack? Yeah. That was just on a piece of shrimp. Oh, it's a uh, little shark. Nice. Chris with the little shark. Bonnet heads are supposed to be really good to eat. You want to keep them? That's probably a really good size to eat. It's about the size to catch one on the beach or back at home, huh? Yeah. We can try it. All right, so when you're catching these sharks, if you're going to keep one, you got to make sure you bleed it and gut it and everything because they are... They like pee through their skin. They have a lot of ammonia. Um, so you got to take care of all that like instantly get it on ice. So that's what we're going to do now. Clean this thing up. Shark catch and cook. First one on the channel. Thanks to Chris. Chris is like hand feeding an eel. He just cleaned the shark. Dude. Let's see if I can get him from this angle. That is crazy. That is so cool. There he is. That is so crazy. So as we're fishing this area, a sheriff ended up pulling up and telling us that we're actually not allowed to fish this area. Um, there was no signs or anything saying no trespassing. I've talked to multiple people that have fished this area as well that said um, that they've fished this spot. But he did end up saying they've had issues with kids coming in there and like spraying graffiti on that abandoned house that they were building there. Um, kids coming and having parties and leaving trash. Um, so now he's just asking for our fishing license. We're showing our license. He's checking everything out, making sure we're not doing anything illegal or anything like that. It was kind of funny though because like, as you saw a second ago, he searched the back of the truck in a bucket. He's like looking in our tackle bags, all kinds of stuff. And we have the cooler with the fish we were keeping, which were all legal. They, they were all legal size and everything like that. Um, but he never even actually looked in the cooler. Um, he, he checked everything else, which was kind of funny. Um, super cool guy, though. He ended up being really nice, just asking us what we were fishing for, where we're from, all that kind of stuff. But unfortunately, we weren't able to stick around and fish this spot. So... 
had to pack it up, move elsewhere. Well, the sheriff told us we had to leave, could not fish in that particular area. So we're moving on to another spot that Brent gave me. He's been out here catching some fish. So it's alongside the side of the road here, just before you get to a bridge. And there's a little canal that kind of runs um, right by the land and you can just fish it from land here. There's not really a lot of beaches in this area. You just kind of got to like pull off the side of the road. But uh, we're gonna walk up here, give a shot, see if we can't get on some fish. Let's do it. All right, guys, we just made it to this uh, little jetties rock wall over by the bridge. We got a gulp shrimp tied on with a pretty heavy jig head. There's a lot of current, pretty deep water, so a little unconventional, but got to try to get down. I'm just going to see if we can't work this thing off the bottom. See what we got hanging out around these bridges. Well, the first cast wasn't a success. Brant lied to us. Did you have a line out? Yeah, I, I hooked it. Hang on, hang on, Chris. Hang on, hang on. Oh. I got it. I just got eight. I just got eight. And it was just drifting. I stopped reeling because me and Cruz were about to get tangled. I looks like Jack, maybe. I don't know. It's got a ton of head shakes, so. Might be a tarpon ain't jumped yet. Surely a tarpon would have jumped by now. Um, Cruz, do you mind grabbing that other GoPro up there? That would be amazing. No idea what we have on here. I w literally was not even reeling or bumping or nothing. I was just letting this fish drift down in that current. Again, he hasn't jumped yet, so I don't think it's going to be a tarpon. My guess is maybe a jack, maybe a uh, maybe a snook. I don't know how fun it's going to be to land a fish here with all these rocks. But oh, I see him. Is that a jack? Yeah, I think so. Try, try not to fall in the water here. That's a jack. No. I got him. Little fun size jack creval on the gulp shrimp. I got your rod. Thank you. Oh, he just spit it. He just spit the hook. <laughs> he literally just spit the hook. I handed Cruz the, the rod so I could try to land him. Ah. He <laughs> sit still for a second. He ate that gulp shrimp just drifting on the bottom. Really cool, Jack. These fun ones, or these little ones are actually pretty fun to fight. Back in Alabama, we get like the big 20, 25 pounders, which are awesome, but fun fight. Awesome, what? Okay, he was ready to go. <laughs> can't complain. We have made it back to the house now. Crew's about to go for a swim. Maybe. Backflip? Off the Cannonball off the balcony? I would love to do that. There's more right there. Catch them. Get them, Cruz. Cruz is going to clean up our fish for us. We got a few different kinds of snapper and the shark. Nice bonnet head. If you've ever eaten bonnet head shark, comment down below. Let me know how you cooked it and if you like it or not. I've never even ate shark before. Got some mangroves, some schoolmaster. All right, Chris cleaning up the mangroves. There's so much more that I just can't do. This is gonna be more like an appetizer. Uh -huh. Tacos. Tacos. Taco, taco. This is so weird. We could probably fry these up for lunch. And do that tri tip for dinner. Yeah. Have you ever had shark before? Me, yeah. How'd you cook it? Fried it. Fried? It like deep fried? Yeah. Like little nuggets? Mm -hmm. What did it taste like? Like fish. It's, it's, it's not bad at all. Backflip. Backflip? I can't do a backflip. Here you can. Okay. Try hard. You got it. I don't know. Alright, front flip. Cannonball. Belly flop. How's the water feel? It feels so good. How's it taste? It tastes not 
so good. <laughs> All right, Chris, show us how it's done. That does stink. Stinky. The meat looks good though. Yeah, it's nice white. Nice white yeah. meat. Yeah, if you fry it up, I mean everything good fried. Based off the smell of this shark, I don't know that I'm gonna be a fan. Hopefully we can kind of pull, hopefully the meat does not taste like that. We did bleed it and gutted it right after we kept it. So that should make the meat all right. I think that's all you can do, right? Uh, yeah, uh, soak it in, in buttermilk. The meat does not look that bad though, honestly. I think it'll be all right. All right, so now that we have cleaned the shark and cut the skin off, it does not stink anymore. It was just the skin from, I guess, because they do pee through their skin. And so because we did bleed it and gut it and do all that, now that the skin is off, the meat's fine, smells good, I feel a little bit better about this. You excited? I am. I haven't had shark in a while. I'm curious to revisit that. Heck yeah. Let's go to the kitchen. All right, y'all, back home in the kitchen now. Got all the fish cut up. Thanks to Chris, cleaning the fish for us. And uh, we got a little egg wash going on here. We got the batter over this way. We're using the Louisiana Cajun Crispy Fish Fry. That's our shark. Still not 100% sure on it. Definitely batter it last, just in case it ruins the rest of the fish. <laughs> Have either of y'all ever had sharks, buddy, Cruz? No, never. I, I people eat sharks, but that was bad luck. We're about to find out. Okay. It's not bad luck. A lot of people eat sharks. I don't get bit by a shark if I eat one. <laughs> Everybody that I know that has eaten sharks says it's delicious, so I think it's going to be just fine. Got the oil heating up here. It's going to take a second, but uh, ready to eat. That is looking pretty dang good. I love some fried fish. Too. All right, well, Chris is basically doing all the cooking for our, our dinner here. Got the oil heated up, got a couple pieces of fish in there. Is that the mangrove snapper? Uh, yes. Perfect. Love some mangrove snapper. And we had those schoolmaster snapper, which I don't think I've ever ate. The meat looked really good though. So I'm excited to try uh, all those fish. And we're, we're gonna save the best for last with the shark. In case it's terrible, we don't ruin the grease. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm still kind of nervous. But. All right, how's it looking over here? Looking like fried fish. Is that our shark? That is our shark. All right, that's everything else. <laughs> yep, dinner is ready. We got all the snapper. We got the shark. You all excited? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm stoked. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> we also, Chris whipped up a little bit of rice as well. So we do have some rice. Y'all make a plate. Chris, you cooked, you make a plate first. Oh, go ahead. Nope, you. Oh, I'll, I'll go all ahead. All right, buddy. Oh, oh dude, yeah. it's gonna be good. A little bit of rice. Because I'm fat and hungry, you know that. Yeah, yeah, you do. Yeah. He's Growing up on the coast, I'm surprised you've never had shark before. Dude, I, I again, I thought it was bad luck to eat something that could eat meat. Like, like when it is on a boat. All right, let me All get right, this handsome guy. Look at him. Get a little bit of rice over here. Well, yeah, we had a lot of leftover rice from the other night. Okay. Crushing it. <laughs> Snapper. My favorite is fried snapper. Like you cannot go wrong with fried fish. What do you like about best like about it? It's just so flavorful. Like anything fried though. I like fried chicken, exactly. fried jalapenos, fried pickles, fried everything. Dip it in ranch. Fried butter. Dip it in ranch, absolutely. <laughs> put the put the shark over there so I don't forget. I am gonna hit it with a little bit of sriracha mayo too though. I'll put it on the side just in case. All right. I want all of us to try this shark at the same time though, because I'm interested in everybody's well, I've already tried it. We're gonna same bite? Yeah. Alright, well me and Buddy, Chris tried it too. You wanna try it too? Me and you have not tried it. You you want my stage response or you want honest? Honest. Okay. 100 percent honest. honest. Tons of flavor, super firm, really good. It is really good. Yeah. I still, my problem anytime I try something new, is just like the mental aspect of like, seems weird to eat that. Mentally, I don't enjoy it. 
Flavor wise, though, like it tastes fine. Um, a little spicy. It is very spicy. That's a, yeah, that doesn't that's, matter. That's a matter. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I'm like, it's all gonna be a little spicy. Uh, shark is spicy. It's a little bit dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> it does have a little more flavor, though. I didn't taste it on the back of my tongue now. That's the difference the, uh, between the shark and the, like, that's the pea. <laughs> more firmer. Pea flavor. It is definitely more firm as well. Firmer. Yes. If this would have been a bigger shark, like, we could have cut it into steaks and, like, grilled. Not Try it. Not too shabby. Uh, kill the shark before it kills you. You're gonna love it. Absolutely. Hi, right, Cruz. Try some shark on camera. I did. It's good. Not on camera. You didn't. Eat it for the camera. This is for the tubes, man. Cruz also got to hand feed a uh, eel. Yes, a moray eel. That was really cool. That was Which scary. Was, <laughs> so, I, I told his dad part of the story. I didn't tell him the whole part of the story. But, so like, he's dangling the meat. Y'all probably already played this clip. Y'all saw it, but he's like, we tell him to dangle the meat, like, but don't put your fingers down there. He's like, he'll bite your fingers off. <laughs> he like, puts his whole hand uh. on like, Dude, that's not what we meant by no fingers. Like, keep your fingers behind the rock. The eel might eat your finger. Dude, this eel just comes up and just like attacks the piece of meat. Yeah. It was a little bit scary. I don't know if any of you out there have teenage boys. He's 13. If there is a wrong way to do it, that is a I will do it. And like the sheer like chaos right. into this. Uh, I will do it. Yeah. God bless. Because you did, you did also snorkel in 600 foot of water. Dude, and I was trying to get a lobster today. There was like a bunch of lobster. I was just trying to grab one, and I and I like on this rock, and I just fall in the water. I'm just soaking wet, all on the rocks. It was so funny. Yeah, I think that's when we were messing with the ill. Chris, did you try some? You gotta try some on camera. Yeah, shark. What? Whatever you want, man. Whatever you want. We're gonna have to start Dang. keeping some oh, sharks. Yeah. Very good. I wonder, so, good. because it does still have like a little extra flavor, and that smell was obviously from the ammonia, is there an extra step that we didn't know about to get it? So, if you get your shark, you usually want to soak it in buttermilk overnight. Soak it, okay. Yeah. So, maybe if we had some buttermilk that might have pulled some of that out. And it's not like bad taste. I don't I didn't taste like it. The fact that you just said had like that some extra yeah. like it has a little bit of extra taste. Got it. Extra flavor. It not knowing that I didn't taste that. Yeah. I didn't even know that. It's almost like like a gamey taste for fish. Right. But it's not bad. And again, not that it's bad. It's just a little more fishy yeah. than some other things. So if any of y'all have any ideas, comment down below. We are wrapping up. We have one more day left here in the Keys. We're going to finish this there. Trying to catch a tarpon in the canal tonight. At least yeah. a couple. Oh, got to get Cruz his first tarpon. Oh, yeah, Buddy, I'm here to I'm here to encourage. But it's just here to serve. <laughs> All right, guys. First thing we're going to do here at the bridge is we're going to throw out a little bit of chum. I had some shrimp that ended up dying. The, the battery went out on the pump. And so now I got some dead shrimp. But it is fresh. I got them on ice. We're just gonna toss down some of this shrimp, see if maybe we can chum some stuff up. All right. We gotta finish rigging up here. Looks like the bait store gave me a few dead shrimp. Make sure we get those out of here. If you are keeping live shrimp and you have any dead ones, definitely get them out. Those dead shrimp are gonna kill your other shrimp a lot faster. So get all the dead ones out of there. All right, now that that's done, we got a live shrimp here. I'm gonna hook them in the tail. Sometimes I do tail, sometimes I do up in the head at the horn. And we are using a Carolina rig today. There's a lot of current out here. I got two ounce weights. That is all I brought with me. So hopefully it's enough. I have no idea how deep this water is. Like not a single clue. I think it's fairly shallow here actually. I'm gonna leave that down. 
I'm gonna rig up another rod. We're gonna set two rods out here. All right, got the second set up here ready. Hook another live shrimp up. Everybody else on this bridge is fishing off the east side, which is why I put the first one on the east. I don't know if they know something I don't know or if they are all just as clueless as I am, but I'm gonna toss one out on the west side. We're gonna go up under this bridge. I assume they're all fishing that side just because the current's going that direction. And your line's not gonna end up under the bridge. But we're gonna see if my two ounce will hold me in place and not go up under the bridge. We'll see how that works, but so I got one rod set up on the east side, one set up on the west side. Both with the same thing, Carolina rig, 20 pound fluorocarbon. See if we can get hooked up on the fish. There we go. There we go. Got something decent on the shrimp here. <clears throat> I don't have a net. I was anticipating being able to flip anything I caught. Oh, what is that? Don't hit the bridge. All right, I have honestly no idea what this is. All right, check it out. This is a hogfish. First time I've ever caught one. When I first saw it coming out of the water and it was orange like this, I thought it was just going to be like a little red snapper. Got it up at first glance, I wasn't sure. And then I looked it up and sure enough, this is a hogfish. Very cool. They are out of season right now and they got to be 16 inches, which this one is not. But very cool to catch the first species for me. We're going to go ahead and let this guy go. Get another shrimp out. See if we can find something else. All right. Well, first actual fish of the trip not counting that little bait fish i actually ate hogfish for the first time yesterday at a restaurant down here and now i caught my first hogfish pretty cool I'm gonna drop another shrimp down here see what we can find this time that's what's cool about the keys man this is my first time being here first time fishing here but there's so many opportunities to catch so many different species of fish let's see if we can check something else off the list today so a minute ago, a couple guys were leaving. Said it had been slow. Said they caught a couple hogfish, one permit, and one yellow jack. I asked them what time they got here. Right now it's 11.45. They said they got here at five o'clock yesterday afternoon. They spent the night out here. So it sounds like it's been slow, so it's not just me at least. Hopefully it'll pick up for us. Oh, 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 oh. What's happening here? What's happening here? Oh man. I think I got a fish on. I feel him moving. Yeah, there's a fish on there. He's just got me in some structure. I'm gonna give him some slack. See if he'll swim out. Interesting. Could it be a grouper? Wouldn't that be sweet? Hey, nothing there. Maybe my weight got stuck on a rock somehow. Or maybe he had me because I, I did fill a fish. Maybe he had me and then spit it. Maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. That was interesting. Got me excited there. That was a big little thumpity thump. All right, I have no idea if it's showing up in the camera or not, but you can kind of see the tide line right in here and all that nice clean blue water behind it the tide is coming up right now hopefully that's going to bring in some clean water and uh, maybe get things going and hopefully make it to where i can actually see in the water i wanted to kind of be able to see down thought we'd be able to see some fish <clears throat> the bite has been a little slow haven't caught anything in a minute but we're gonna hang out a little while longer and uh try to put some fish on deck drop another shrimp down see what happens One hogfish, yeah, a bunch of grunts. There we go. Oh, there's something different. All right. 
that I'm almost certain is a little baby grouper that is pretty cool I do not know what kind if, if anybody knows comment down below let me know I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy back quickly say buddy we're getting closer and closer to high tide this water's getting cleaner which is a good sign oh guys there's like some barracuda or something I don't really have anything good for these but there's some giant fish this is a terrible idea and I'm gonna get broken off instantly but I've got to see if I can get one of these big fish to eat if they're barracudas which I kind of think they are they're gonna cut right through my leader oh 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 they kind of looked interested for a second actually oh I got my cut bait I got my cut bait all right we're gonna see if I can sling this cut bait at them and get them to eat where'd y'all go there they are there they are all right i'm gonna cast it out in front and reel it in front of them really quickly and hopefully they'll eat it dang that would have been so sick well that, well that was really cool to see a school of probably like four or five barracuda just came cruising by unfortunately i didn't really have anything ready when i was at the tackle store this morning i almost bought a cuda tube but it was like really short and not really what i wanted so i didn't buy it i wish i was able to bring out more setups with me because out here you never really know what's going to cruise by like it would have been nice to have a rod ready for something like that instead of trying to like scrounge around figure out what to do but really cool starting to see more life here i've been here I don't even know what time I got here this morning. Pretty early, maybe like nine o'clock. It's a little after three right now. So I've been out here pretty much all day. The only reason I'm sticking around is because that high tide's coming in, clean water from the Atlantic. It's pushing in here close. And I'm hoping that's gonna bring in some fish, help turn the bite on. Uh, we're gonna hang out here a few more hours. I might just end up staying until dark. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but hopefully we can get on some more fish. We're getting hit. We're getting smoked. We're getting smoked. There we go, guys. This is what we're here for. I threw out one of those grunts for some cut bait. Because I don't know if this is the right one. <laughs> I was hoping maybe a grouper or something. I don't think this is a grouper. It's definitely not... Uh. all right well, that was fun for a second get the blood pumping i got the weight and the bait back let's check out the leader here all right the leader's not frayed at all the body honestly doesn't look that bad either i don't know my guess was shark if there's something y'all think comment down below let me know i did when he when he came loose i definitely thought he cut me off i just got 50 pound mono leader on here comment down below your guesses was it a shark or was it something else we'll never know there we go there's something a little more decent what we got ah first one of these of the day nice mangrove snapper that's a legal size fish right there too he is definitely over 10 inches which is what, what they got to be here in florida alabama's 12 and he'd probably beat that too i bet he's about 14 inches or so check it out trying to bite my hand nice mangrove snapper i wasn't planning on keeping fish but i'm actually walking out now and uh because i don't have a cooler but i can throw him in there with the shrimp and uh it should be fun so i'm gonna put this guy up we're gonna fry him up for dinner tonight have a little snack let's see if we can catch us another one all right let's drop another shrimp by this piling see if that was a fluke or if we got us a little school of mangers hanging out over here wouldn't mind catching a handful of these there he is there he is oh yeah that's another good one get up here get up here Ugh. sweet unfortunately i don't have anything to measure fish i'm pretty sure this one's over 10 but i'm not positive that one i know for a fact was this one i think is but because i'm not positive i'm gonna let him go 
I don't want to end up getting stopped and getting in trouble. I wasn't planning on keeping fish, so I wasn't really worried about it. But it's hard to turn down some mangrove snapper when I'm on my way out. See if we can catch us another no doubt keeper. There he is. Oh, that feels like a real good one. That might be the biggest one. Oh, that's not, what is that? What is that? Is that a yellowtail snapper? That is pretty cool. All right, so it's not a yellowtail. This is called a schoolmaster snapper, which I don't think I've ever heard of. They gotta be 10 inches. He's definitely not. Another fish that I've never caught before. Marking them off the list today. See ya, buddy. Well, this is a productive little piling I just stopped at. I have to use up all my shrimp right here. There he is. Oh, another good fish. A real good fish. Oh, come on. Don't get me in the piling. Oh, that's a nice mangrove. That is a nice mangrove. Tighten down that drag, Brad. Tighten down that drag, Brad. Whoo! Heck yeah. That again is definitely a keeper. No doubt about it. That's bigger than the first one. He's probably 15, 16 inches. My goodness. All right, check out the size of that mangrove. Wow! Easy! <laughs> Check out the size of that mangrove snapper right there. Bigger than the first one. He's probably every bit of 15, 16 inches. That is a good one for inshore like this. We're going to keep this guy as well. Got a few more shrimps. So we're just going to go ahead and use them all up. See if we can get on some more fish. All right, another shrimp. I think I've caught more fish in the last like 10 minutes than I did in the previous like five hours. This one piling is loaded with snapper. Like as soon as it hits bottom, I'm getting nibbles. All right, I just scooted down to the next piling over. See if we can get some bites here. There we go, there we go. Got him, got him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Mang baby, mang baby. Loaded up with some mangrove snapper right in here. This is another definitely 10 incher. That'll give me three snapper, which will be enough for me, the wife and the kids if they decide they want to eat some fish. We got a few more shrimp, might as well use them up. And hooking them in the tail. Go to this next piling over. Drop it, drop it low. Got him, got him. Oh yeah, oh yeah baby. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come on, get up here. Oh, that was a nice mangrove and it pulled the hook right at the top of the water. I don't know if you could see it in the camera, but I mean, he was right at the surface. I'm going to catch one more of these dang things. Right here. This is it, baby. This is the one. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, that's a real fish. Stay pinned, baby. Stay pinned, baby. That is a real fish right there, y'all. Oh. This might be the biggest one of the day. Minus whatever big fish we lost earlier. Don't go under. I gotta keep my braid off this concrete. Oh. And I don't have a net, so whatever it is is gonna have to be flipped. Oh, it is a hoss mangrove. I mean, a stud mangrove. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. Don't come off. One, two, three. <laughs> oh my God. Dude. You've got to be kidding me right now. Oh man, that is insane. How freaking cool is that? Check out that mangrove snapper. What an absolute beautiful fish. 
I think that's going to end it for us right here. I said I wasn't going to keep any more, but I got to keep this guy. That was an awesome fight and a nice big inshore mangrove snapper. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the other Keys videos coming up here soon. Appreciate it, guys. I'll catch you all in the next one. Got the boat loaded up, ready to go. Got a little everything set up here. We're gonna go out to the marathon hump, see if we can't find some tuna. We're also gonna look for some weed lines out there. Supposedly there's been a lot of mahi. What's that? Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, Angler Up a Brant, link down below. He's trying to hit 20,000 subscribers this year. So go show him some love. <laughs> We got Chris, we got Cruz, we got Buddy somewhere around here, about to take out the Costa. It is a little windier than we were expecting. The Atlantic is right out there. Doesn't look too bad. We'll see though, we'll see. But uh, we're gonna take you along for the ride. Let's go catch the fish. All right, y'all, we stopped by this little grass patch here. Got a glass minnow jig on. I'm gonna see if we got any dolphin hanging around here. There's one. There's yeah. one. Hey, right, come throw over here. They're gonna follow this one up. Nope, that's my mahi. Oh, it is a mahi. What? It was just very light. That's the smallest one I've ever seen in real life. <laughs> this is what we call a chicken dolphin. Uh, we're gonna figure out the size length first. 20 inches. I need 20 though. All right, Cruz, give me a measurement. Is he scared of him? Kind of. 17. He's 20 too inches. He's a little yeah, short. He's 20 inches. Okay. Little chicken dolphin. Too small to keep. Good luck, buddy. All right, guys. We just made it out here to the humps. We are in 900 foot of water. On the edge of these humps, it goes down to 1,200. All the way at the top is 500 foot. Uh, so a lot of stuff going on on the bottom right here. Marking some decent stuff on the hill. I think we're going to start out doing a little slow pitch jigging. And uh, we got some stuff to troll as well. There's a few boats out here trolling. Just got out here, haven't seen anybody that's hooked up yet, but uh, Buddy's ready. Always. Chris is already dropping the jig down. See if we can get on some tuna. Let's get after it. All right, y'all, I got a 300 gram Johnny jig here on the slow pitch setup. Send her down, see what happens. All right, we're jigging in 500 foot of water here. Chris has a fish on on the back. See if we can get hooked up here. You got him, Chris. Did you ever hit bottom? No, I got close and then something whacked. On the fall? Yeah. Guess I'm gonna drop back down. Y'all are getting hit on the fall. There's color. Oh, there he is. All right, you're a leader. Blackfin. Little blackfin. Nice catch, Chris. Hold on, he's coming up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> head first. Got him? It, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Get, nice work, that. Chris. That's a keeper, huh? Oh, yeah. Yep. Tuna on ice. Oh, All right, just made it out here to another weed line. Got the tsunami jig on. Let's see if we can find something up in here. Generally, we drive next to it, not on top of it, but do whatever you need. Here, Mr. Mahi Mahi. Try to stay a little further back from it. What do you say? Try to stay a little further back from it. We'll cast to it. Okay. Maybe push in a little bit, hit that one. We'll hit those little things and pop back out here. That looked like a mahi. Ooh. Yeah, they're over here. Mahi, mahi. Got him, Cruz. Mm -hmm. Look at them all. Got one, got one. I don't know. It's a bunch of chickens. Yo! Uh, get the measuring stick. Oh, that one's good. 
God, they're thick. There's a ton of them. They're thick. Just like oh, look at them falling after it. 18 inches. Yeah. <laughs> Yo! That's a good one. That's a keeper there. Sorry. They're wild. <laughs> look at all of them. They are thick, dude. Oh, he's like, yeah. Here's another good one. Oh, that looks like a keeper for sure. Ooh, I got a keeper right here. Oh, oh he's so green. You had one. There's still some bigger ones down there. Here, let's get that I'll net. Here, I got, I got a, uh, that looks like a little baby one. They are so blue, we get them out of the water and then they turn green. Such a cool fish. See ya, buddy. This is a big fish, though. We still, we still around them? Did we catch two keepers or one? Two. <laughs> That's what a good boat looks like. Oh, there's a big one right there. You see him? I know, I'm trying. He's. Ooh. I don't want that one. You want to bump forward a bit? You're all right. Still everywhere. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, just kidding. There's another uh, small one there. I thought I had a good one. He looks a little small. These are such a cool fish, though. Yeah, he's like super light. Yeah. That looks like a keeper. It's close. Uh, Look, it looks like a keeper right here behind him. I'm gonna leave mine in here right oh, quick. You see that one on the right? He looks decent. Try to throw at that one. Look how pretty these fish are. Too small, gotta send them back. They're super fun to catch. Get them, Cruz. Yeah, that's fun. I like that one. Oh, he's jumping. Is he big enough? Look at him. They're so thick. It's a little bit bigger. Yeah, it's like an inch under, but anyway. What do we do? Oh! Is this a keeper? Oh, wow. How oh. oh, bad. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. There he is. Got another one. Get him, Chris. Hey, Chris, reel in your line. There's a fish. See any big ones down there? Not really. Oh my god. Whoa, he's jumping. Mahi, mahi. That's a good one. That was probably, that one might be a keeper there, bro. Oh, that's a bull. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, Alright, new grass mat here. See if we got any bigger mahi on it. That last spot was loaded, just a lot of small ones. That is a frigate bird over that other one. The bird's right there. So there's any of this grass here. There's a frigate bird that's flying over the rest of this weed line, so we're just gonna bump up a little bit. We are good. You all right? Yes, sir. There's something. There's a fish. Any bigger? I can't tell. I was pretty far out there. He looks it's small, though. Close. It is a mahi, but it looks small pretty small. Oh, that's the smallest mahi I've ever seen. Look at that little peanut. Aww. I take that thing home, put it in an aquarium. Smallest one I've ever seen. Look at this monster. That's gotta go back. He ate it with the grass on the lure. That was funny. Is that any bigger? Or just smaller. Uh -huh. the biggest of the smallest, I'll probably get it. Biggest of the smallest? Pretty, pretty mahi. He's gonna be small. See ya, buddy. We need some big cows. Oh, there's something. It's gonna feel real big when he goes through that grass. Yeah, it's like a giant now that he's got 10 pounds of grass on him. Little baby. 
need a hook? A hook? hook. Yeah, what kind of hook? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Circle hook. Yeah. What do you need? You guys get them or what? Awesome. Thank you. No problem. Y'all catching any? Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. See anything cool while you're diving? Um, Bunch of mahi, yeah. Small. Yeah. yeah. Everything seems to be a little smaller. Thank you so much. Yeah. Are you seeing them? Uh, he is. You guys, we have a diver. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good one. Sweet. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> oh, he's just feisty. That's probably one of the best fighting ones I've had. Oh, he's good. Nice legal mahi mahi. You mind taking a picture real quick? Another legal mahi going in the box. Let's see if we can get us a few more. Good to finally find some keepers again. We've been catching a bunch of small ones. We got Cruz over there diving in the water with somebody. 600 foot of water and he's out there snorkeling. Hey, Craig. Camera roll. Get him, buddy. Camera roll. Get him, buddy. It was real. Oh, uh, we just got tangled twice. Uh oh. Cruz, Cruz is helping me. Hang on. Okay. All right, let's see. Is it gonna be a keeper, buddy? He's taking out white. <laughs> <laughs> you got that YouTube drag oh, going. Oh, it's a big one. Don't let him whoop you. You gotta take a break for a second. Okay. <laughs> All right, Cruz. He's a fighter. He's a big one. Have you ever seen one jump that high? Look at him. There's all of them right down to help you guys out. Okay, give me a second. Hurry up, get there. There you go. Oh, look at that little triple tail. Oh, I foul hooked him. All right, nice catch, buddy. Oh, you want you want nice. a picture with it? No, I do not. Take the embarrassment for later. All right, guys, we're about to run in after catching a bunch of those dolphins, mahi mahi, whatever you want to call it, and uh, we're gonna do a little catch and cook. Probably do a little bit of swimming in the pool. You ready for the pool? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's been pretty hot out here, so the pool's gonna be nice. We got alarms going off on the boat, <laughs> trying to get the anchor up, get everything stored away to head on back. We got a, about a 10 mile run back to the house. I'll catch y'all when we get there. All right, guys, we made it back to the house. We got the boat all cleaned up. Time to clean some of these dolphin. Oh man. Not a bad size, man. We, we got a tuna in there too. Chris caught a nice tuna. We uh, were hoping to get in some big ones. We, uh, we didn't find any of the giants, but not too shabby. I've not caught a whole lot of dolphin. I caught, um, caught we went out with Brian. With yeah. And uh, this might be the only the second time I've caught him. Using this Dexter knife here, work our way right down the backbone there. Dolphin or Dorado, Mahi Mahi, whatever you want to call it, is absolutely delicious to eat. I think we might make us some tacos tonight. I think, I think, oh, are you getting bit? Chris is trying to, there's some mango snapper hanging out here. And uh, Chris is trying to catch him one. Maybe you can find him a keeper. Yeah, you're off. There we go. You got him. What is it? Oh, it's a nice. Mango. Baby mango snapper. I thought that they were that size. I really did. You said there were some giants down there. There was one. We've uh, we've been seeing quite a few tarpon rolling in this canal. And our neighbor across the way here caught one on a piece of uh, a fillet last go. night. Cruise. And so we're going to save some of these scraps. See if we can't catch us a tarpon tonight. Y'all comment down below. Let me know how good of a cameraman Bran is. Probably not. He didn't good. he didn't like to hold it very often. He just kinda like points it wherever and then just Dude. looks away at other stuff. Okay, the GoPro actually films really well and so you don't have to do a whole lot. Well you still oh gotta gosh, dude, there's a white Fred. There's a white Fred. That is a white Fred. Have you I have never seen a white Fred before. There's a lot of them on Highway 41. Really? Yeah. Brant uh just posted a Highway 41 vid too, so y'all go no. check that out. Oh, yeah. Alright. Two nice fillets here. We're just gonna chop the skin off, get uh, the bloodline out, finish cleaning up the rest of the fish. I'll catch y'all in the kitchen. Out here cleaning some fish and Chris just hooks up on a little tarpon. 
See if he can land them. Got a little jump out of them. Come on, baby. Hey, what are you doing? Get up here, buddy. On a little piece of uh, mahi. That's so cool. It's on the side of his mouth. He's going to absolutely rape your hand. You want me to grab the end? The tail? Yeah, All right, y'all, finally got everything cleaned up, got the boat clean. We uh, took a little swim in the pool, had to cool off a little bit. It was super hot out there today. Just got back from the grocery store, trying to get everything ready for dinner. Crew's hanging out, watching a movie. Caught us, was that your first mahi or you caught them before? But you caught the bigger ones, right? Yeah. Crew's caught some nice mahi today. We got all the groceries. Brant, Brant's actually doing something. This is interesting. What are you doing over here? I'm just cutting up the tuna, dude. Nice. We're gonna do a few different dishes. We're gonna do some tacos, some sashimi. Brand's getting that ready. Check out his video for the sashimi, but uh, gonna be a busy night, a lot of food. All right, we got a lot going on in the kitchen here, so we're uh, getting all the mahi ready on the uh, dining room table. We're gonna lay it out here, get it seasoned up, ready for some tacos. Do we need to cook all this? I think this is the mahi in it. it no, that's yours. Oh, it is. That's your yellow jack. Do we want to save some of this? We got a lot, man. Uh, There's no way we're going to eat all this. Just throw it in the fridge. It would be good for like three or four days. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to do about that much. Got some Cajun seasoning here. Make some Cajun mahi tacos. I'll flip it over, season both sides here. Brand's working up on a nice dish over there. I'm gonna be eating like kings tonight. Got all the fish seasoned up. We're gonna heat up a pan. Just do it in some, uh, a little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic, and it is gonna be delicious. We got a pan full of butter. Probably a little too much butter for Buddy, but we're, uh, we're doing it anyways. We got all our fish right here seasoned up. Bam. Gonna cook it up right here in the pan, make some tacos. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. I haven't had mahi mahi in a while. I don't even know the last time. Question is how many tacos time you caught it with me and Brian? I know that was that was sometime last summer. Yeah. How many tacos are you gonna eat, Brad? Uh two. No, seven? Two. Five. How many are you going to eat? Your cousin, your, all, all your fans want to see you eat six. All right, I'll eat six tacos. Six tacos. How many are you eating? We're watching you, study. All right. I'm holding you to that. Six. Do six it, it your, is. for your fans. <laughs> six tacos. Six tacos. All right, y'all, our fish is ready. We're warming up some tortillas here with a little bit of cheese on them. <laughs> We're not going to lose weight tonight. <laughs> Just preface that. Just don't burn it. This is looking absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and make a plate real quick. We gotta open up our quesadilla. Take a little bit of that. We're gonna get in here with a little bit of mahi mahi. Don't worry about a fork or nothing, just go straight for it. I don't know, did we buy any sour cream? We didn't buy sour cream. All right, we didn't do sour cream. We got some taco sauce. We got a little bit of avocado here. Mmm. We got a little bit of diced jalapeno we're gonna hit on there as well. How did we forget sour cream? Do you not eat sour cream? No. Nope. You don't? No, that's why we got that creamy sriracha. Ah! <laughs> I just got third degree burn. On accident, in love. All right, 
So we did uh, sriracha instead of sour cream. So we'll hit a little bit of that. Bingo, bango. Come on, hold that. Mm-hmm. All right, we got mahi, hot sauce, avocado, jalapeno, all the good stuff. Cheers. Mmm. How is it? One through ten, what do you rate it? Ten. That is so freaking good. Is it good? It's amazing. Dude, I haven't had mahi since last time I caught it with Brant. This is so freaking good. You like it? It's amazing. I could just eat this every day. All right, Cruz, what do you think about the tacos? I think it's amazing. I yeah. had some of that, this right there, that tuna, or whatever it is. A little tuna poke, pokey, whatever you want to so call good. it. I should mix in a bunch of stuff, rice, cheese, everything. It's amazing. Ten. That's the way to do it, man. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, Chris. Your shot at the taco. Mm. Y'all see what you think about the mahi. Oh, you put a little rice in your taco, too. Mahi is always good. So good. Especially when it's fresh. Oh, yeah. I mean, we oh, caught it like four hours ago. That's so good. Now is the time. Even back home in Alabama, we do get some mahi. And uh, if you just go offshore and chase those weed lines, you're going to have a good opportunity at it. So if you're heading offshore, make sure you stop and uh, give a shot. The, those glass minnow jigs work really well. Uh, where you can troll, you can throw out a little piece of cut bait, something like that. Usually if you get them fired up, they're going to eat. Buddy, it's time for you to eat. Oh, let's go. I just love... Uh, Life is rad. Life is rad. Hanging out with you guys is even better. <laughs> All right, buddy getting his taco ready. Mm. There's been a lot of moaning this past week. <laughs> don't, don't we all? Am I the only one? <laughs> Moaning's good. You like it? Sometimes you just gotta be honest with yourself. Mmm. 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 Well guys, we just had an amazing dinner eating some fresh mahi mahi. Have not had it in a long time. We're gonna hang out here on the dock for a little bit this evening. Try to see if we can't catch some tarpon. If you wanna see that, make sure you check out Brand's video. I'm gonna wrap it up here for the night. Um, we might uh, hang out here in the pool. Just trying to take it easy. We got some storms coming in tomorrow, so might not be able to fish tomorrow. We're gonna hang out, edit a little bit. If we catch a fish tonight, will you please record it? Yeah, anything we catch tonight is gonna be on Brant's video. Okay. We're switching over. So, We're now anger up at Brant. So if you don't see anything on Brant's <laughs> channel, just realize it's his fault. Nothing. It's his fault. Okay. All right, what's up, guys? We are here in Marathon Key, Florida, and we're here at the tower, and we got a bunch of reefs right here. We're gonna drop the GoPro down, see what all we can see. Let's do it. All right, y'all, comment down below. Let me know all the different species of fish that you know in this video.
snorkeling like that over that reef and it was so cool to be in there with all those fish see all the different species down there really really cool experience definitely gonna have to do that again while we're down here if y'all haven't already comment down below all the different species of fish you know there's a bunch out there a few of my new a few of my didn't so y'all comment down below let me know what you know we uh we had a bunch of storms here last night the rain just stopped <clears throat> hopefully be able to get out and do some fishing here in a few minutes but uh trying to wrap up this video hope you enjoyed it make sure y'all stay tuned because we have a banger coming up probably on thursday i'm gonna try to have it edited by thursday uh, but it's, it's a good one we ran offshore whacked the fish y'all don't want to miss that one i'll catch y'all on thursday <laughs>